Morning everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jan Kilstra and today we're going to be switching the MX-285 over from the liquid manure tank to the solid manure tank, the Bunning manure spreader. I was thinking, man, we never stop dealing with cow crap out here at the dairy, but uh, the day we stop is the day we quit making money. So I definitely do not want that. I'll just keep playing around in the cow crap. We're going to check the oil on this tractor. Make sure she's good and then we're going to go find that Bunning manure spreader. Today is a little bit cooler than the last couple days have been. Still fires up, no problem. Found a parking spot for the Gia tank. Just gonna drop it off. I cannot get the PTO off of the tractor from this Gia tank, so I went and grabbed some lubricant and then a crowbar. I want to grab a hammer too, but I think uh, it's better just to try and wiggle it loose back and forth a few times. Let that lube get worked in and then maybe it'll come out. Making progress, come on baby. Yes, look at that. Well, we got our manure hauling equipment ready to go. We're gonna go chase that first corral out. Corral one. These buggers, their corral is full of crap, so. You just go into the back of the corrals, close the gates, then we can take this corral out. You can see these buggers are in need of their corral being cleaned out. It's probably an understatement. starts to get colder at night so we're probably just gonna start putting bedding in this corral regularly it is the younger calves so we want to make sure that they have the easiest time out here come on yep yep come on good show so the calves are just gonna hang out in the chute handling system while I clean their corral these buggers are lucky though, because it's only gonna take me a couple loads to clean the curl out and then they get to go back in. Some of these bigger curls need to hang out there for a little longer. In the spring, they're in there for a whole day. They're tough, they can handle it. put bedding in this corral right away. So the calves are out, he just grabbed two bales, he's gonna shake them out. I wasn't gonna clean under the shelter anyway. Small corral to have two wheel loaders in it. Got the concrete scraped up, kind of all the manure piled up in the back there. Dad finished putting bedding in already. Super quick with that. Now it's time to grab that wagon, back it in here and see if I could do that in a single shot.
<laughs> it wasn't pretty, but first shot, nice. first load of manure. You guys might have seen a little jerk from the tractor as I was kind of halfway out of the corral. That's the MX-285. It still has that jolt when I shift from gear six to gear seven. Um, something, it's not 100%, but I don't know, what do you do? We're just gonna keep on, keep on hauling away. I also did check all the lug nuts on the wheels of the Bunning Manure Spider too, if anyone was wondering. Done with the first corral. It was only a load and a half, super quick. There's a bit of a pit there though, so we're gonna grab some dirt and backfill it. Yep. Come on. So cabs are back in corral one and uh, we're starting the second corral now. This is corral six. We chased them all over to corral seven and I'm just gonna push a big fat pile right in the middle of the corral here. Well, we were hauling away yesterday 
and it started raining on us so i had to quit but we only have one and a half corral left so over the last couple of days we've just been hauling these corrals out and uh yeah it kept raining so this is gonna set us back a couple days unfortunately we only have our two steer pens left i'm already halfway done the first one but yeah that rain shut us down yesterday and it looks like it's going to be a couple days before we can get going again the time of year now the days are a lot shorter it's a lot cooler so it takes way longer for stuff to dry out the field is going to take longer to dry out and uh, we got a good little shot of rain here so uh, it sucks it sets us back but it is really good for that fall rye that we just put in the ground and uh, just in general it's good to get some moisture in the ground before spring comes around so uh, over the next couple days hopefully it dries out and then we'll be able to finish this job up the next thing I'm going to be working on is hauling canola straw bales back to the farm. So we've got probably five or six hundred canola straw bales that I got to haul yet. And uh, over the last week, we also got those bailed up. I got some drone shots of that. I'll put those up here. So that's a total of three quarters worth of canola straw. One of our neighbors dropped that straw for us. So uh, we got to get all of that hauled back and uh, still lots to do, but now we got to wait for the ground to dry out first, but is what it is. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram at SASDutchKid and I hope to see you guys in the next video.